In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to set up and run a simple Azure DevOps pipeline. So I'm in Azure DevOps and I'm going to start by creating a brand new project in my organization. So on the organization page at the top right, I'm going to click new project. And on the create new project window under project name, I'm going to call it demo space project. And I'll click create at the bottom right. So now my demo project is set up and I'm on the main page. On the left hand side on the main menu, I'm going to go to repos and I'm going to click files. And this gives me some options on the right. It says demo project is empty, add some code. So I can create a default repository here. The simplest way to do that is to add a repository that simply has a readme in it. So at the very bottom it says initialize main branch with a readme or git ignore. So I'll click initialize. Now that creates a default repository called demo project, same as my project, and it has a readme.md file. So that's good enough for us to set up a pipeline. Normally you would have code in here, but we're going to keep it simple today. So on the left hand side, I'm going to go to pipelines, and under pipelines, I'm going to click pipelines. Now on the right hand side, it says create your first pipeline. So I'm going to click create pipeline. Now it takes us through some steps. So the first step is connect. And it says, where is your code? Well, there's several places that you can get code, including GitHub, GitHub Enterprise Server, some other Git repository, etc. We're going to use Azure Repos Git. That's the Azure DevOps Git. So I'm going to click on that. It says, select a repository in my Azure DevOps. Now, right now, we only have one repository. It's called Demo Project we just created. So I'll click on that. Next, it says, configure your pipeline. Now your pipeline is represented by a YAML file. A YAML file is a type of script file that will contain commands for your pipeline. And we'll talk a little bit more about that when we get to editing the YAML file. But I'm going to click Starter Pipeline because it'll create a default YAML file for us. And now I'm on a page that says Review Your Pipeline YAML. By default, it creates a YAML file that will automatically work, but it won't really do anything useful. It's just for demonstration, just to get started. So I'll step you through some of the important details. On line six and seven is the trigger. The trigger defines which branches are going to trigger this pipeline when they change. Here we just have the one trigger main, and we only have the one main branch. Lines nine and 10 define the pool. The pool is a virtual image. So it's a virtual machine in Azure DevOps that runs your build. So the pool that we have for our images is one image and we're asking for the latest Ubuntu image. So it's going to run an Ubuntu image. Starting on line 12 is the steps. These are the steps that the pipeline